everyone, it's Tara from Join My Fitness Journey. I am a Diamond Beach Body Coach, and I am going to show you today how to accurately take your measurements. This is such an important uh, step when you first get started, uh, whether you're just starting your weight loss journey, whether you're starting a new program. It's a great way to measure your progress. Um, the scales don't always tell the whole story, and I honestly stopped weighing myself. Um, I check in maybe once a month on my the number on the scale, but um, the inches speak way louder than any number on the scale ever can. So um, I encourage you to take your measurements. Um, I do them every three weeks when I'm uh, starting when I've started a new program to really measure my progress. Um, and the inches and the way my clothes fit are what I go by and also how I feel. Um, you know, when you're not losing weight, it's frustrating and you can get into that plateau and you, you kind of feel like, oh, the scale's not moving and you're very unmotivated. So this is a great way to measure progress without having to hop on the scale every morning. So get rid of that scale and um, get a tape measure. So this is a, a, just a very simple tape measure comes with a lot of um, the Beachbody programs that we have. Um, so the, what I do is, um, and also some of the Beachbody programs, or most of the Beachbody programs, they all come with a chart where you can write down and record um, your measurements as well. So I measure myself in a couple of key places. Um, so I start with my waist. So I start by measuring, I measure right around the middle. Um, so, you know, you just kind of take your, your measure. You don't want to have it too tight. You don't want to have it too loose. And I re measure right around the belly button. Um, and the reason I measure there, not everybody measures there. The reason I do, this is my problem area. So this is where I gauge um, a lot of my progress is where my belly is. Uh, the next area I do is my hips. And it needs to go around the, the biggest part of your booty and you're just bringing it straight around um, and again not too tight and you're going to take the measurement where the metal part meets the line and then you're going to record it and write it down. Uh, the next measurement I take is my chest and again it's going around the largest part of your your, your chest um, right on it's going to go pretty much on your nipple line um, and up to you whether you want to do this um, with or without a bra, with or without a sports bra, a regular bra, um, probably not a good idea to do it with a hefty padded bra on because you're not going to be able to tell any kind of progress. Um, so after I do that, then I measure my waist. And a lot of people think your waist is around, around the belly button. And remember those high-waisted pants like back in the day that everybody used to wear? Yeah, they wore them all the way up here. And this is your waist. Your waist is up here, kind of right below your rib cage. So that's the other measurement I take. Um, and that, again, not too tight, just comfortable. And and then you record all these. Um, there's some great apps on uh, on the phones and iPads as well that you can record measurements. Also on the um, TeamBeachBody.com website, you can totally track your progress when you're sign up as a free player. Um, the other measurement I take are my arms. And my arms don't change a whole lot, but I hold it out straight and sometimes I need help getting this done. Um, but you measure it right on the middle of your bicep. So you just kind of get it around there and with your arm out straight. And then I measure my thigh. Um, it's up to you how you measure your thighs. I measure in the middle. Um, sort of midway, and I also measure the upper thigh, um, sort of the inner, inner leg, um, and so that is how I do it. And again, take your measurements. Um, also take before and after pictures. Um, those are very important as well because you look at yourself in the mirror every day. You don't necessarily see muscle tone definition that is in pictures. Um, so I encourage you to take before and after pictures, and I know that before picture is so scary. Trust me, been there, done that. Um, but you will, you will really like 
having that comparison, um, I, it, sometimes it, it, it's hard sometimes when you have that image um, that you you know you don't want to go back to that uncomfortable place anymore. But trust me when I tell you, when you get you're never going back there again. Number one, and number two, um, you you just need to be able to have that reference point. And when you're taking your before and after pictures, um, you want to stand up straight, feet about shoulder width apart. You can do your hands on your hips. You can do hands down by your side. Um, if you you know want to have some fun, you can make a muscle, and because then you get to track bicep process progress. And it's best if you always wear the same thing. So if you're going to wear a sports bra and shorts, um, wear the same thing um, to be able to track your progress. It's the most accurate way to be able to compare photos side by side. So then you're going to do a side shot. And some people like to put their arms up like this. Um, I like to have them down, shoulders back, and, you know, just sort of stand to the side. And then you turn around and you do the back. Um, and this is where I like to do a little, strike a little pose um, to really see what's going on in the in the back muscles there. So so there we go. There's the uh, the how and why of taking measurements and um, taking your before and after pictures. And I look forward to seeing um, your progress and your results. And don't be afraid to share them um, in our groups because they are private and closed groups. Only people that are in our challenge groups will see that information. And um, that is all for today. So thank you so much. And uh, I look forward to seeing your progress.